Hello designers, welcome back. We're gonna dive in here today and learn how to do some of these pretty cool transform effects with Illustrator. Uh, I'm gonna break this video up into probably two parts. Uh, we are going to get our document set up and then in the second video, we're gonna go ahead and uh, make these effects on the different shapes here. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive in. Uh, I'm gonna go over to, I made a new page here and I have all of my shapes set up. So I've got my square, uh, my circle, my pill shape, my hexagon, triangle, and my ellipse here. All of these were essentially made with the uh, shape tools right in here. Uh, so if you don't know how to do that, uh, you can probably go back and watch one of the other videos and figure that out, but these are relatively easy to make. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm gonna go up and do one thing that is gonna help me a little bit later. I'm gonna go up under File, and I'm going to go to Document Setup, and I just want to check my units. I am going to change it, uh, a lot of times I default to inches, but I'm going to change it to pixels because that will help me at a later step. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now I'm going to add a black background color here. So I added a new layer. There's one on the other uh, artboard over there. So I'm going to go ahead and add one right here. I'm just going to grab a rectangle, zoom out a little bit, and I'm going to fill the whole back of the page with a rectangle. <clears throat> and let's make that a black fill, get rid of the stroke. And I'm gonna go ahead and lock that layer out and I'm gonna do all of my shapes and manipulation on this upper layer right here. Okay, the next thing that I wanna do is set up this gradient. You could really do this with anything. It looks best, I think, if you have a gradient going. So I'm gonna go ahead and make two rectangles here uh, just so that you can see my colors here. So that's black and I'm gonna go ahead and change that. Uh, to be my CMYK magenta right here. And then let's go ahead and duplicate that one. Hold down Alt, drag that over. Whoops, I didn't hold down Alt. Let's try that again, drag that over. And I'm gonna pick this other one and this is gonna be my CMYK cyan. So I'm gonna use these two colors to create a gradient. So once I have that and I know what two colors I'm using, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my generic black and white uh, gradient, which is going to change up, but that's okay. I'm going to go back over here to properties. And I'm going to define a new gradient. So I'm going to hit edit gradient. I'm going to pull this up and you get your two sliders here, your, or your two colors. So your black and your white. So if I double click on black, I'm going to go ahead and choose that pink. And if I double click on white, I'm going to go ahead and choose that blue. And there we go. I now have my gradient on this. So you can see that I have that gradient. And now when I click over on here, I'm gonna select this, you can see that gradient pops up and let's go ahead and drag that down and add that gradient. You could really use any colors you want, but again, I'm kind of defaulting to the CMYK magenta and CMYK cyan, and it creates a nice effect. So once I have that gradient established in there, I don't really need this box anymore. I just kind of put those on there to show you, you drag this down, you add that in. So now that I have that, I'm gonna go ahead and each of my uh, shapes here, so I'll zoom back out, and each of my shapes, I'm gonna make those. With that gradient, so I'm gonna click on my swatch, click on my gradient, and I have these all defaulting to a one point stroke right now, which should be pretty good, and there we go. So that's the starting point. Um, get your document set up like that, and then I will see you in the next video, and we'll go ahead and do some of these transform effects.